In this video, I'm going to discuss something called Bootstrap Studio, which is uh, basically a thing for a tool, a new tool, which just came out the other day as uh, around the 20th of October 2015. Um, so on the website, it's, it's bootstrapstudio.io. I'll uh, put the, the web, web address up on this video as well underneath. Um, so basically what Bootstrap is, is if for most web designers, they'll know that Bootstrap is something which is for responsive design. Uh, enthusiasts will know that as well. Personally, I've never really used Bootstrap. I've always used Foundation. But I took a gamble on this uh, particular tool because um, I thought it was quite interesting. And so what it is, it, it, it goes on their website uh, a little you know, details about it and that. But at the bottom, at the moment, and I'm right, I'm doing this on the 22nd of October, it's uh, going for $25, as Americans would say. Uh, so that's about 16 quid in the UK. So what that, that what you get for that is uh, Bootstrap Studio can be installed on three computers, uh, one year of free upgrades. And so... Uh, it's used on um, Macs, Linux, and Windows, so that's quite quite good so far. So when you load this program up, you get uh, this straight away. So you have a Get Started Guide. Um, you can use that when you, you're starting to uh, just delve into it. Uh, open Existing, which is uh, something that you've already saved and create new design, which is what we're going to do here. Um, so here we have uh, blank, and we have landing page, product page, and blog page. Uh, I'm just going to put this as index. Um, and I'm going to choose landing page. A blank one you can do, um, just build it up yourself uh, however you want, landing page. And this is just a demo, and we'll we'll create that. So when um, you see this, this is their landing page. Um, it it looks. I mean, it's hard to know where to start with this, and I'm I'm not an expert yet on this, uh, but I'm getting there. So what that basically does, uh, if we start from the left to the right, we have a file as you normally do and this is just a basic file import component uh component these things that you do yourself i haven't done any of that yet uh close design and quit edit undo redo view just you zoom in zoom out a full screen design change themes manage themes import image and import font if we just go down here this is where you can image, where you can uh, actually import image or you can import your fonts. Okay, so if we just head back up to the to the left there and the manage themes and change themes, uh, I'll just talk about that in a minute. Help is just uh, how to write CSS because it has a CSS editor in this. A getting started guide uh, and a few things like bug report, etc. Okay, so if we just head over to the to the right of this, you have something called preview and export. The export is when you've finished with your design or you're trying to build it up and you want that saving. Preview is preview and in your default browser, mine's Google Chrome. Um, on here is just new, basically what we've just said, new, the blank landing page, product page, blog page, etc. Um Open is just something that you've already done as well, and save speaks for itself. The things, this is a, an interesting one. Just while we're on there, uh, undo, do, they'll highlight when, when uh, needs be. Themes, this is uh, something what uh, this is in by default. If you change that, you change your design actually on the web thing, uh, web uh, landing page there. So I've, t I've done darkly, choose, and that actually changes, as you see. That will be white normally. So if I just uh, just do that again to the lumen, as they say, and the changes to white. So everything uh, you can change your things for the website, different colors, etc. 
So if we head over to the left hand side here again to a little bit lower, it's got studio and user. User means obviously us, which I haven't put anything in, any components myself at this point. So there's nothing there to show the studio is headings, paragraphs, uh, everything really, but it's, it does, um, it's, it's what you can do there is you can drag and drop. So for example, if you wanted to choose, um, a paragraph, you just go there and paragraph will be, you just drag and drop basically anything that that's here. You can just drag and drop, um, something like heading and how you actually change, uh, how you edit yourself is basically you go right click. And if we go to the right there, the right of this uh, screen, we see, uh, HTML body section and heading, and it is, it's difficult to explain really as it's so new. Um, the thing is, is that the, a lot of things correspond in this program. Uh, this here on the far right corresponds to this here down here. So you have a heading there. So if you click something like body, you have your body there and that highlights there. So if you go back to heading, this is what we have. You have an H1 type which is, which is basically what we have, um, and has alignment, default, etc., etc. Um, so we just do this and, um, here, how you, how you edit this is you edit it by just right click and down to, and you can duplicate, delete, add to library and edit, and you can put in what you want. Say, for example, uh, I spy with my little, I, uh, of course, this is just a demo. Um, so everything on the left hand side here, down here, you can actually, um, you know, you, you can drag and drop. It's a drag and drop program. So everything there, you know, you can just nav bar, you can put that in wherever you want, usually at the top, of course. Um, and yeah, so it's got all these elements that you can play around with, uh, however you want to design. Uh, your web pages. Um, other things is another, uh, I'm just trying to make this video short for now. I will do some more on this, but of course, is this responsive? Well, that's what it's all about. It is bootstrap. It is a similar grid system. Uh, so here we have something, uh, we'll just go in there, zoom in there. We have LG, which is basically your computer, perhaps your telly, uh, you have your um, laptop size as it looks there, your icon there, and you have your tablet size, uh, similar to something like an iPad and you have something there, which is a mobile phone. And there we have it. You see, if we wanted to see what that looks like in a preview, uh, preview is disabled by default, but I'm going to open this up in a, in a browser. This is basically what you see. Um, there you go. So that would look like that at mobile distance and a bit more. Uh, this would be going into something like iPad or any tablet, Samsung or whatever. You, and this is your drop down menu and, and so on and so forth. Um, so yeah, so that's, uh, that's the basics of how this, uh, this, this works. If you, uh, things that you want to do by yourself, um, I'll just put this back onto the laptop because I find that for me is the best way to work. Um, you can just drag that in here. This is my picture. It's, um, I don't know what I'll do with that, but I, it, no, I think it's actually their picture, but I'll just put it down there. So anything on here again can be, uh, if you want to import your own image, I'll just delete that. If you want to import your image, you just, uh, I've got, I've got loads of images on the computer. I'll just go for something called a base. Uh, and a base you can just drag and drop from there as well. See, that is, uh, the way, um, they do it. And, it, and you can put that to a library and duplicate, or you can delete it. Um, this also now shows up down here. So that image shows there the image actually, like I said before, if you look up on the, on the right, that again shows up 
and it gives you the um, x y axis your width your height it's 360 all of that can be changed um with something that i haven't touched on yet the the one thing that is a little bit difficult is is the actual scroll bars is a little bit thin for my like um but if we just come up here this is again another thing that corresponds so there's about three different things that correspond with each other the left overview panels it's called there um the right up the top there which is your options etc and down here is where it's got a a blue box round or blue border box round that element so the element is abyss.jpg which is something i've just put in so this is the active css for that if we look on here this is active CS, css and this is user css so what's the difference with that well the user css is everything that's got to do with um, the web page the active is basically that element that's been highlighted um, how you could do that, how you want to choose, you can change that as you create another style. You can put in um, image. Um, this could be, for example, width uh, dot, uh, I don't know what, 500 pixels. And oops, that's, I've put 400 pixels because that's my zoom on my video. Uh, height, oops, height. Uh, 600 pixels and uh, we're just doing that really and that's how you you use your um, that's how you use your your the, what they call a smart CSS editor you can do it both on the active.css by creating style you can also do it uh, there it, what has to happen is you user CSS on both of these it has to be user CSS if it's bootstrap.css, that means that you cannot touch it. Oh, well, that's what I've found so far. So, for example, if I'm trying to... See, that's not doing anything. But So, what you've got to do is you see this, the uh, user.css is something that you can do yourself. So, if, if you know CSS, um, you you can do whatever you want with that, that element. Uh, whichever you want, you can actually... Uh, create your own thing so for example i'm on there edit class and id where img or image is a uh, an element in itself but if you wanted to change that um you could you could put if say if you've got a lot of images in your um you know if you've got a lot of images in your in your website and that you can have, you can assign an id or a class you can do that and you can just create the style with that as well uh so that's that's the basics of this program uh i think I, I've, I've played around with it a little bit now and i think it does have potential i haven't built a, a web page um my, uh, properly uh, i would have to do that to make uh, to make absolutely sure but i will uh, hopefully put some more videos up and i will do a web page with it uh, to to make sure that uh, everything I'm seeing, I can, I can do. Um, so thank you for watching and thank you for listening. Now, if there's any questions, just ask. Thanks a lot.